today we will learn grouping of data and histogram Disha found the age of 40 persons living in her colony from which she got the following numbers Such a collection of numbers collected to get desired information is called data Here each number is an observation information from these figures such as how many people are above 25 is not easy to find therefore we organize the data in a systematic way such as by making tables using tally marks but it will not be easy to do this here because the number of observations here are very large and if we show each observation in the table then the table will be very long in such a situation we organize observations into different groups here the smallest observation is 5 and the largest observation is 68 therefore the range of the data is from 5 to 68 so here we will create groups of observations like 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 and so on we call each group a class interval or class each class interval has a lower class limit and an upper class limit like 0 to 10 has lower class limit 0 and upper class limit 10 by subtracting the lower class limit from the upper class limit of class interval we get the difference between the two we call it class width or class size of that interval for example the class width or the class size of the interval 0 to 10 is 10 minus 0 is equal to 10 similarly the class width of the class interval 20 to 30 will be 30 minus 20 is equal to 10 similarly here the class width of all intervals is 10 now we will represent the numbers in the table in the form of tally marks here the observation 5 is included in the class interval 0 to 10 so we will represent it in the table by making a tally mark in the row 0 to 10 now let's talk about observation 10 We see that 10 is included in class interval 0 to 10 as well as 10 to 20 but an observation can only be included in a single class interval To avoid this situation we adopt a convention that a common observation will be presented in the higher class intervals Here we will include 10 in higher class interval 10 to 20 and create tally marks for it so tell me in which class interval the observation 40 will be included think think absolutely right it will be included in the class interval 40 to 50 and not in 30 to 40 so we will create a tally mark in class interval 40 to 50 to represent 40 similarly we will present all the data in the table using tally mark now here there are two tally marks in the class interval 0 to 10 can you tell me what do you understand from this think think let me tell you these two tally marks denote observations 5 and observation 8 in this way the number 2 tells that number of observations that which are included in class interval 0 to 10 that is there are two persons between the ages 0 and 10 years we call it the frequency of class interval 0 to 10 similarly you can write the frequency of all these class intervals in this way you can see that the sum of the frequencies of all class intervals is 40 which is equal to the number of observations 
Thus, this table is completed. This is a frequency distribution table. Since we have classified the data presented, we now call them grouped data and the obtained distribution is called a grouped frequency distribution. From this table, we can draw graph as follows. In this graph, the class intervals are presented on the horizontal axis. For example, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, etc. Similarly, the number of persons are represented on the vertical axis. To show this, the scale of one unit is equal to two persons has been taken. The length of a rectangle drawn on a class interval tells us how many observations occur in that class interval. The number of observations in a class interval is called the frequency of that class interval. For example, the frequency of the class interval 20 to 30 is 6. The bars drawn to show frequency have the same width and the two adjacent bars have no space or distance between them. This type of representation of data is called a histogram. We will understand it better with some examples in the next video. So today we have learned grouping of data and histogram. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to them.